So we're back at the Z4 now. I'm just going to put the uh, piece of foam trim back in that I took out when um, when I clicked, um, dried out the motor. So if you're familiar with these things, it's just lifting this uh, lifting this cover back. I've got some of the old things in there. Um, the battery tray, um, not the battery tray, the battery bracket. So I'm just going to take the um, the cover off. There we go. So we've got the motor. So what basically happens is that um, the water must get in the boot somehow and this bottom tray here um, fills up with water. Um, so we've been away uh, last week, um, very sunny a few days, operating the top up and down without any problems, but then it started to uh, get a bit jerky, particularly when it was closing. So uh, when I took the, um, took the cover off after doing a bit of research on the internet I found about two inches of water the motor was um, well actually in this um, in, in the foam protection there just move that I'm sure the battery and I could see see the water so basically I disconnected the battery and took the battery out and um, drilled a hole in them um, in the grommet that's in the um, in the boot and drained all the water out and sponged the rest out and then I had to um had to remove these salmon relays and take the cover off it's not too difficult off each one because they were a little bit wet inside and um, dried them out with the um uh, the air gun not the air gun uh, the heat gun um, not too much temperature but um, just evaporated the water and then these block connectors also you've got a little bit of water in them um, so I, I obviously clean those out and then the motor if I just lift the motor up um, the motor had been kind of sat in them um, in, in water you see a little bit of corrosion which I've cleaned off so basically what I had to do was um, take the uh, the two end caps here, here are the two bolts that hold it on. So we so take the two bolts and remove this motor end cap and then water uh, drained out. There's still a little bit of water that's, uh, that's in there from, I didn't quite sponge it all out. And um, I just use the air gun to blow the, um, um, blow the residue and, and, and dirt and, and water out of there. Um, a little bit of penetrating oil, um, a little bit of grease on the um, on the bearing at the end here. And um, and the motor worked fine after that, put it all back together. But obviously what I had to do is, is um, let that foam um, dry out in the, in the garden. Um, it's been a nice sunny day that was absolutely soaked with water so of course you don't want that to be a problem so what i'm just going to try and do um maybe sit the motor up um just going to put the um put the phone back in um so that i can refit the motor so there we go nice nicely in place um, drop the motor back in to its uh, location. It's all nicely, nicely fitted. Um, just got to route the cable there through that little groove. Um, got the toolkit, so let's put the toolkit back. Um, so the toolkit goes in this little slot there, and then um, then I think. I'm just going to uh, I'm just going to undo that clip. So maybe I can do that with um, with one hand. Let's just have a go. Might have to put the camera down. Um, in fact, I'm going to do that first. So just put the camera down there and uh, repositioned. Okay, so what all I need to do now is to, uh, to put, the, put this um, cover back on. Make 
make sure it's all nice and nice and clean. Um, remove these screws. Another one there. And um, we'll almost be ready to put it all back together. We are actually doing that, aren't we? So, just putting this, um, this bolt in. I've got one down here. So it all looks nice and uh, nice and neat now, but it was certainly a bit of a shock when, uh, when I found the, um, the motor covered in water. Um, but it, it did help to explain what was going wrong. And unfortunately, I don't think everyone's as lucky as I've been, but fortunately, um, I was able to, to carry out the, the repair and everything was working afterwards. I can imagine a lot of people can end up with a situation where the motor is permanently damaged. So there we go. So I'm going to get my tools and the key. Pull everything back. There we go. And. Uh, basically finished so I wasn't really able to show you me uh, doing the repair I've got some pictures I might try and put on the video but this just uh, supports the previous video that I did on them um, on a which was a more brief explanation um, well if it's of any use to anybody that's great um, thanks for listening